that's a lot of food. Um, a lot more than I thought when I was doing the online shop. Unfortunately, a few things were substituted, so it's not all officially as the smart price. Oh my god, the week is over, it's ruined, do it again. Um, the main one, I think, being the, uh, the, the Asda Smart Price Instant Mash, which they've just sent me Asda Instant Smash. Exactly the same price. Why have two different products? Who the hell knows? Also, bread, because they don't do Asda Smart Price bread. But I figured, seeing as I did to the Neville bread with Tesco Value, it's only fair to do their cheapest bread on offer, because it probably was Smart Price bread at some point during its life. But there we go, we do have a very wide selection. One thing I'm looking forward to is the ready meals, because Tesco Value didn't have any value ready meals. But it all it's a really good selection. I'm really looking forward to this. Some stuff in there that I wouldn't have thought to have bought otherwise. So I am excitamundo. That's not a word. I'm just so excited, I don't know how to speak anymore. But I guess I should jump on the scales. <laughs> and then... Look at I mean, I'm probably not even going to drink all of this. I'm, I'm going to have to. Chase spring water with one of the worst design packagings I've ever seen. Muesli, because who wants a bin liner full of muesli? And this is one of my favourite named products ever. Wheat bisques. What's a bisque? I don't know. It says, it, it says bisques on there, so it must be a bisque. Beef burgers. Mmm. wonder when we're going to have that. I'm just so excited. There's ice cream, there's, there's desserts, there's decent looking cheese. Vegetables this time. Asda Smart Price Vegetables. Probably not going to have that many of them. Because look at this selection of junk food. I'm so... Jaffa cakes. Car oh no, carrots. I just, I don't know what to do with myself. So I'm going to weigh myself. They're going to hop on the scales. That's the same thing. I'm just, I just can't concentrate because of all this food. A lot of it's frozen, so it's blasting arctic air at me right now. Which I shouldn't be complaining at, considering it's been about 40 degrees for the last three weeks in the UK. <gasps> I want to eat all of it! Okay. What's the damage? 14.10 exactly. That should hopefully make the maths at the end easier. Probably put the translations on the screen now for those who don't understand good old fashioned stones method. Because we measure things in how many rocks we have. For those who don't know, Asda is a British supermarket chain owned by US giants Walmart. At least for now, as they're due to merge with other British supermarket giants Sainsbury's at some point in the future. So I thought while I still can, I'd try their range of cheapest chips products, known as Asda Smart Price, aka their equivalent to Tesco value. Now that I've filmed this, I'm going to have to put it all away because look at the state. £55 this all cost me, minus the, uh, the the delivery charge, I suppose. But that's a hell of a lot of food. Some of it Grace is going to have as well, but um, it's mostly going to be me. But oh good God, that's a lot of food. So I think it's time for breakfast. 45 pence for these cornflakes. What's the damage? So a bowl will be 111 calories, so 6% of the day. Uh, doesn't include milk, I assume. So, um, hmm, it's got all these fortified ingredients in. Can't really argue for such a small price for uh, essentially, I guess, more than a week's worth of cereal. I'm opening this off screen because I'm prepared. Lovely stuff. Pouring like a breakfast champion. Oh shit. And just like Tesco, as to smart price only has long life semi-skimmed milk. So don't even need to put this stuff in the fridge. And this is 54, is this 54p? I, I need to check. I cannot be giving out fake news, 54 pence. Marvelous stuff. So time to pour it like a nice cereal ad would pour it. Super duper. So then I guess there's my like 4p breakfast or something. I don't know. Do the math, let me know in the comments. Looks like cornflakes. The, the flakes themselves seem quite small. Is that why they're smart price? Who knows? Hmm. Hmm. 
The date appears to be um, June next year, however, they do have a very stale texture to them. So, they're, they're, I mean, I literally just poured the milk on them in a sexy way, and they're already quite soft and chewy. So, crap. Not as good as the Tesco ones. I'm going to probably end up comparing them a lot to the Tesco ones, because that's my frame of reference. Hmm. Very disappointing. Flavour's okay. Just a bit staley. Yeah. Hmm. I'm quite sad now. Basil is happy to find out that they don't do as does Mark Price cat food. They don't, do they? They're very happy. I don't know why he's shouting. He's had his breakfast. Are you sniffing? Can you smell those stale cornflakes? Look at this amazing painting of Basil. Um, that a fan of Basil has done. I will put the link in the description. I love this thing, it's amazing. Um, she paints other cats and dogs and things, so superb. So I've spent the morning editing my book. It's going very, very well. It's already had one pass with the editor, and now it's uh, just in a second, and I'm going to be working through that one. If you do still want to back it, you can do. I'll put the link in the description, but I'm not going to go on about that because you want to hear me talk about food. One thing I kind of want to get out early on is that this week is absolutely not intended to make fun of people who buy this food or who can only afford this kind of food. It's basically just to take a look through the food, see the selection that's available, and see how good it is, see if it matches up to the brand stuff. It's not to belittle anyone or anything like that. People kind of misunderstood that about the week on. They took the first uh, week on with the Tesco value. They, they saw the, the headline and uh, they assumed. So don't assume about this one. It's absolutely not to take the piss out of it. It's just to take a look at the range, which is massive, and see how it goes. So let's go have some lunch. Why not have the first lunch as a British classic? Cottage pie for one, which I am, you'll be pleased to know, I am going to put in the oven purely because I want the uh, mashed potatoes on the top to kind of go brown, maybe a little bit black to add some flavour at the end. As if uh, I was going to do it in the microwave, it would kind of just shrivel up and look really, really sad. Um, the date on this thing lasts for ages, so God knows what's in it. Shall we try and find out uh, where are the ingredients? Here we are, right in the middle, staring me in the face. Mashed potato, which is 55% of it. Uh, minced beef and onions in gravy, which is uh, the other 45. So no surprises in there by the look of it. No hard drugs, that's good. God knows what's in there then, that makes it last for three weeks, but basically uh, a hell of a lot of salt, I imagine. But if it looks like this, I'll be kind of happy. Uh, there is zero vegetables in this. It's the middle of the day, it's lunchtime. Nobody's got time to put veg on during the day. But I'm going to put this in the oven for, where's the instructions, 25 minutes. It better be good. And it costing one pound, I'm going to keep an open mind, so we'll see. Well, here's an interesting problem. <laughs> Trying to take the actual film off. Why even bother putting that on if it's just going to destroy itself? Good God! In you go. 25 minutes. I'm not going to set the Alexa timer because it makes everybody mad. While that cooks, I'm going to make myself some orange squash. Double strength, so you only need to add half of what you generally use. And uh, there's calories in it, whereas uh, kind of generally there isn't with the uh, no added sugar squash, but. Oh well, what are you going to do? Trying to do this one-handed and failing spectacularly. <laughs> right, let's get some water in there. The trouble with double strength squash is it kind of makes it look like you like your squash piss weak. I mean, I could genuinely see through that. But it tastes orangey. Congratulations, it's orange. Job done, I suppose. I forgot to mention earlier, there are 367 calories in this cottage pie. And if you look at the fats, the, uh, the saturated fats specifically, 50% of my saturated fat is in this cottage pie. Uh, or shall I say, in this cottage pie, because we don't have the nice crusty edges. We do, in fact, have a gravy-soaked edge, which looks a little bit sad. But I'm going to keep that open mind because it smells fine. 
although it's very fatty. We shall see. Mm. It's alright. I can tell off the bat that it's way nicer having been ovened than it would have been in the microwave. I'm going to have to have some of these ready meals in the microwave this week due to where I'm going to be at lunchtime. But Oh well, this is fine. I can feel my arteries clogging up. Why the hell is there so many... So much saturated fat in this thing. Like, it's the tiniest cottage pie in the world. Why does it have 50%? Do they use beef in here, which is basically 90% fat? Good Lord. I mean, it tastes fine. But I'm dying. Back to work. So much editing to do. So much work to do. Ah! But it's dinner time. Very hungry. And look who's joining me this one. Yes, um, you're not sure about dinner, are you? Um, well, burgers and chips. It is burgers and chips. We have Asda Smart Price beef burgers, which are £1.35 for eight. Chips, 99 pence. Yeah. A big sack of chips. And um, this is something that Tesco didn't do on their value. It's cheese singles. Mm, yummy. I don't know what the percentage of cheese is. So what, what's the damage in here? And how much are these actually? 69p. 69p. Huh. Saturates, um, well, quite a lot. So are we having burger buns? But no, uh, uh, gonna bend the rules a little bit. Okay. Purely because we did on Tesco value, so it's only fair. Um, there is 100 calories per burger. The chips, uh, 233, so not too bad actually for these. Uh, the worst kind of, I guess, being the cheese. I mean, there's still 13% of saturates in there, but we can live with that. I'm really hoping we can oven cook these. We can. How can we cook these? Where's stuff? Where's things? Uh, here we go. Uh, 8 to 10 minutes grilled or shallow fry for 8 to 10 minutes as well. Superb. 62% beef. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Do you know what I, strikes me about this packaging? What's that? Well, it's all white. I just find it quite boring and unexciting. It is, I feel like yeah. I could have spiced it up a little bit. And this one, interestingly, is, is orange. Yeah, and which green. makes it look like basic Sainsbury's. It does, that's very true, but we'll get on to that another day. Mm. So let's, uh, let's get these in the oven, get these in the frying pan, and unwrap these. You've got a job to do. I don't know if you can quite see that, but um, the chips are very wet. Um, I'm guessing... I think it's oil. Yeah, it's... Because um, when you rub your fingers together on it, and you can see how shiny our hands yeah. are. So, I mean, hopefully that means it's going to be crispy. Um, it's kind of gross. Oh, they're really oily. They are. Um, I mean, they're not too horrendous in fat. I mean, 233 calories for a portion? Uh, hopefully that's they taste weird. good. That's weird. Why hasn't it frozen though? I mean, I guess the freezing temperature is a lot lower than the temperature of our freezer, I guess. Mm. Because they are frozen solid. So, oh well, let's get them in the oven. Weird. The chips are in the oven. Time to fry the burgers. Nice and frozen still. Yes. Um, I guess we don't need to have them on full whack, so they, don't, they won't like uber cook. They're very thin as well, though. They are very thin. And um, you know, the annoying thing is that um, uh, Smart Price doesn't have any mayo or ketchup or mm. mustard. Or pickles. Or pickles. Oh, yeah, my beloved pickles. Mm. Quite sad. So it's literally going to be plain okay? old cheeseburger. I don't know, we'll have to see. I can sense the tears coming. Well, they look and they smell really good, so oh, the, ch the, cheese. the cheese is twice the size of what the burgers have become, so they're going to look a little, a little bit, no, but they always drink on it because they're probably 99% fat. Oh, well, they're only 60, what was it, 62 percent beef? Oh, where the burgers gone, they've disappeared. They're going to they're gonna look very small in these buns. Oh, aren't you clever, Malpan cheese? Mm. Yum. Okay. They've now conformed to the <laughs> burger and made very strange little, I don't know, pasta shapes. Yeah. 
Oh, they're, they're okay. They're not, they've not shrunk too bad compared to the buns. Not awful. Well, it really does lack ketchup and mayo, but as far as the burger and chips goes, it looks like one. Looks all right. Shall we give it a go? Yeah. How do they taste? Like a cheap burger van burger, but it tastes like a burger should. Mm. Dry, needs ketchup, needs mayo, really needs pickles. But it's fine. I just resent as the for not doing small price. Ketchup and mayo, really. You want some basil? Mm. Mm. They are really tasty. Definitely taste like <laughs> burger van burgers. Definitely um, dry. Which isn't a bad thing, because whenever you get a burger van burger, they're really tasty. But you just know that it's slightly less quality meat. Um, but yeah, they're really tasty. Well, yeah, it's only 62% meat at the end of the day. But well, what can you do? It's like, what was it? What did we say? £1.35? Yeah, I think that's For right, eight yeah. burgers? That's ridiculously cheap, mm. so you can't complain. And these chips, I realise I hadn't tried these. Really greasy. Not too bad. No, they're right. a bit slick still. They Could just be... taste like normal oven chips, though. Yeah, there's nothing special mm, about them. Yeah. But they're, they're actually, for a quid, they're really bad, good. Not bad, yeah. yeah. Quite happy. Well, dinner was actually pretty good. They they were cheap burgers, unsurprisingly. Um, the chips were really nice. It was all kind of dry, wasn't it? Yeah. But... It was okay, though. It tasted all right. Yeah, I'd have it again, to be honest. Um, gonna wash it down, or not so much, with a pretty battered chalk ice. Uh, 72 pence for a box of eight, which, which means they're really good. Yeah, they're, they're less than 10 p each. You've just had one, how is it? Mm -hmm. It was delicious. The ice cream itself is like vanilla, but it's quite bland, but the chocolate is actually really nice. Definitely, chocolate is really nice. It's definitely good for less than 10 p each. Yeah. And really they're quite lovely. small, so portion control and all that. You're right, the ice cream is quite bland. But the chocolate was lovely. Yeah. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to play some Xbox. And there's Basil. Moody boy. Well, that was day one. Pretty good, really. Apart from the cornflakes, which are a bit crap. Uh, apart from the... Cottage pie for lunch, which was loaded with saturated fats. Uh, Berg was fine, chips were fine. Choc ice was really nice. So I'm going to put on the screen right now what the total cost of the day was. But it was pretty cheap. Can't argue with it, really. Um, the, the price versus the quality. You're not going to get as the finest or whatever as the uh, Tesco finest equivalent would be. I am kind of butthurt about the cornflakes though, so hopefully the other cereals that I have are better. But we shall see, I suppose, in the morning. If you would like to see how things go throughout the week, please do like the video. Please do subscribe, ring the bell, don't know what it does, apparently it does good things. And I'll see you tomorrow for day two.